Hello and welcome to tutorial number 32. In this tutorial uh, I'll be discussing the new community builder rating field. It used to be a separate plugin, a commercial plugin, and as of community builder 2.0 it's included as a core field type. So let's just run to the field manager and actually create a new field. Let's call this field rate my profile and just rate me is the name. And let's select from the type drop down the rating type. Okay, let's keep it on the contact info tab. Remove it from registration. No reason for this. Let's go to the parameters tab here. Layout. No, no, let's not touch this display. Let's keep the default values. The number of stars, five. Rating step, one. So I guess the maximum is five then. Uh, let's keep everything else disabled or the way the default is. The access tab, vote access is for everyone. Let's just look at this for a second. If I can basically create the field and say only I'm allowed to vote for myself <laughs> or everybody but me. Or I can set it to a specific uh, view, registered view connections only, moderators only, view access level, I've selected view access level. I get a drop down here that I can select my Joomla view access level. Let's keep it the way it was to everyone by default. And let's just save and close this. Okay. And since it's available for everyone, I can I don't have to log in. I'm not logged in, so I can just visit a profile and see the rate my profile field. It's an it's an uh, Ajax field, so if I just scroll over, I can actually vote here. Let's just give it a vote here. Let's give this five. Okay, and I see the vote actually here. Okay, I can actually cor correct it here if I want. Just keep it the way it was, five. Let's visit another profile. And it's this one, for example. And let's vote this one as a one. Okay. Now, let's go back. And the first thing I want to do is actually, let me add that field to my user list here. So let's go to my member table list. Let's go to my columns and I'll probably add it to the stats column because it kind of fits here. So just do a plus here. Select field. Select field. Uh, scroll down. Write my profile. Display one line with title. And let's just save that. Okay, and let's look, see what it looks like now if I look at my user list. I will see there's a rate my profile. And I see the two rates that have been uh, given. Nothing else. Okay, now let's go back to my field, to our field. Right, just to find it quickly. And let's go and start playing with these uh, various parameters here. Now, this is not an interesting one. User list voting. I can enable this. See what happens. Save. If I refresh my user list now, I will see that I can actually vote underneath it shows me what the total is so far if I, I can vote right here 
Let's give this a five or a four. There you go. And it remembers that I had voted for this before, so let me just log in as a user here. Uh, okay. Now let's go. If I vote. Put a one here. See, it automatically fixes uh, the total vote. It's pretty cool. So I can just vote at on the user profile and the user list if I want. Uh, let's go back and see the other parameters here in the display tab. Number of stars, I can change this from five to something bigger. The right steps, I guess. If I make this 10, I should make this 10, uh, make this two maybe, or keep it one, fits. Uh, let's turn this on, see what it does, numerical rating. Let's save this. And go and refresh my user list, see what it t tells me. See, it gives me the numerical rating two stars here, for example. Five stars, two and a half stars. Okay, so that's what that does. Uh, number of votes to enable that save refresh one vote here one vote here two votes here okay I guess you get you get the hang of it it's kind of it's very flexible you can create as many as you want you can move them to different tabs I just kept hours at the default uh, setting, which is the contact info tab. But you can move this anywhere you want, basically. Uh, I think that's enough. You get the idea, you can experiment, see how things work, and see how you can make this uh, work for your specific use case. Thanks again for watching. See you again next tutorial. Bye-bye.